Welcome everyone, I am Chef Christy and today is a very special day because it is West Virginia Day. On June 20th, 1863, West Virginia became an official state and I am so proud to be from this wonderful mountain state of West Virginia. I am excited to be able to share with you a special recipe for a West Virginia hot dog. Now you cannot get a hot dog made like this anywhere else in the country and for those of you who are from West Virginia, you know just what I'm talking about. If you were to come here and order a hot dog with everything, you're going to get hot dog chili, slaw, mustard, and onions. That's how we make them here and I want to show you just how we do that. But first, if you're new to my channel, I hope that you consider subscribing because I am sharing new recipes each and every week that are simple, quick, and delicious. And also hit that little notification bell, that way you will know as soon as I upload a new video. So enough said, let's make this hot dog. Okay, to a medium sized saucepan, I've got about a pound and a half of ground beef. And I'm going to add about a cup of water to this. This just makes your ground beef when it cooks by adding the water to it uh, before it's completely cooked, it makes your ground beef a finer uh, texture. Now I will tell you, <laughs> I normally don't follow a recipe. I dump pretty much dump stuff in a pot to make my hot dog chili, but I have um, measured out things and I'm going to do my very best to give you exact measurements. So, two, to my hamburger, I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning and I will give you the exact measurements in the description box below, but it's basically salt, pepper, garlic powder, minced onion, paprika, and chili powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook the ground beef with the seasoning in it. Okay, my ground beef is just about completely cooked. And to this, I'm going to add two heaping tablespoons of tomato paste. Stir that around. And then I'm going to add about a cup, a cup of ketchup. This is about a teaspoon or so of mustard. And then there's two heaping tablespoons of brown sugar. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna stir all this around. And I about forgot I like to just add just a touch of heat, so I'm just gonna give a nice squirt of sriracha. Okay, so I've been letting this cook for a little bit until everything is nice incorporated, but it, I am going to go ahead and add another tablespoon of the tomato paste just to just to make sure that it's, it's a little bit thicker. It's supposed to be relatively thin, but I want it just a little bit thicker. All right, that looks a lot better, but I'm going to give it a taste. Oh yeah, pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I make my coleslaw. So I've just taken a head of cabbage, cut it in half, cut the end off, and then I'm just going to cut this core out. All right, and then all I'm gonna do is cut it in big chunks, and then I'm gonna put it in my food processor, which definitely makes things a lot easier. So, just gonna put it in my food processor. Blend it up. 
Okay, so today I'm just gonna use half of my head of uh, cabbage because I don't need to make a whole lot. And this, this will probably give me about four to six cups of cabbage that is shredded. All right, so you can just dump it in this bowl. And if you wanted to add some carrot and put it through your food processor just to add some color, you can obviously, you can do that as well. But I'm just gonna keep it very basic today. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the dressing for the coleslaw. And this is something else that I make a lot of times and I don't really follow a recipe. So I've got about a cup of mayonnaise and to that I'm gonna add just a squirt of mustard and this is a half of a teaspoon. This is my sugar. <laughs> I'm wanting my salt. Oh goodness. Okay, this is a half a teaspoon of salt. <laughs> that is so funny, I just did that. Okay, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now I'm going to dump my sugar, and that's about two tablespoons of sugar. And then I've got about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And so I'm just gonna stir all this together and pour over my coleslaw. All right, so I'm just gonna pour this over my cabbage. Just mix it together. And this, the salt that is in this dressing will bring out the moisture. So you don't want it you almost want it to look a little bit dry when you first put your dressing on it because it will, I've got a big chunk there, it will uh, render some, some moisture as it sits, but there you go. All right, I've got my all beef hot dogs on the grill and I don't think there's anything quite as good as a grilled hot dog. Okay, the hot dog is all done. I'm excited to eat this, it's so good. I didn't put diced onions on mine because I don't particularly care for it, but I'm just telling you, if you come and order one with everything, diced onions will come on it. So let's give this a go. Mm -mm. If you've never had a hot dog like this, I really, really hope that you try it. It is delicious. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day and happy West Virginia Day.